So we have a FD2 Civic Type R. And if you guys are into performance vehicles, then you guys are definitely in for a treat because the Civic Type R, the FD2, is a highly sought after car by enthusiasts with speed, power, and handling. Yeah. And in this video, we're gonna go in depth about uh, in depth about this iconic car, its design, specs, features, and what makes it a great car amongst us car enthusiasts. So sit back, buckle up, and get ready to know all there is to know about this stunning, stunning. F Honda Civic FD2 Type R and also Roshan, there are only a handful of these in the country, uh, am I right? Yeah, exactly. So it, makes it, five. so it makes it even more rare in Sri Lanka and, and there are about 11,000 uh, in the world. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, now let's take a deeper dive into the stunning engine of the Honda Civic FD2 Type R. Now, all FD2 Type R's come with the K20A i VTEC engine. And the K20A in this particular car produces around 225 horsepower and, and about 215 newton meters of torque. And 0 to 16, how much in how, how long? 6.3. 6.3 seconds, exactly. Now, Oshan, I can see. Uh, okay, before all that, what is exactly VTEC to all our viewers so, out there? VTEC basically works when the engine speed rises, rockers inside the pistons is pressurized using an oil mm -hmm. uh, which obviously locks all three cams and yeah. increasing the lift. So, yeah. It usually kicks in, you know, at around 5,000 RPM. Kicked in your yeah, we take it at 5,000 RPM probably. Yeah. No, probably. Yeah, 4,000 to 5,000 RPM. 5,000 to 5,500 RPM. No, I can see Newton. So we all know what that is. That's an Yang tank. Exactly. So um, what is it? Tell us about the engine. So compared to the FN2, which is the European market model, yeah, which is actually not that good. It's compared to this, right? Yeah, it's it is like undercovered. It is undercovered. It has around 200. Odd horsepower. Well, yeah. well, this has 225, obviously. And this car is also more sought after than the FN2. Let's be honest. Yeah, that car looks like a bloody egg. <laughs> Whereas this car is actually. We're not gonna like. I mean, I mean, come on. It looks like an egg. It does. It does. It does. So this is a sedan, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Looks oh, much better. Fun. Also, fun fact for you: we do have one FN2, a silver FN2, on the island here. Uh, we'll pop a few pictures here, here, and there, or just there. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. So, okay, also. so anyways, uh, compared to the FN2, by the way, this is lighter, 83 kilograms lighter. Mm -hmm. This weighs around uh, 1250 kilograms. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, this is lighter, has more power. And also, compared to the FN2, that also has the K20 engine, yeah. but, uh, but it doesn't have throttle bodies. Uh, it doesn't have uh, the intake manifold. It doesn't have the induction system, which the FD2 gets. So, you can see how good the how JDM, JDM version, version is. Now, if you're wondering why I'm pulling out the bonnet, because it's an aftermarket uh, hood. hood. So, the uh, stock hood latch doesn't, that doesn't have a place to fit in anywhere. So, hence why we're holding up. It's quite tricky. So, yeah. It is. It's exactly <laughs> quite tricky. <laughs> my forearm is killing me right now. So, anything else before we shut the thing? Uh, I think we have mentioned everything. Everything, yeah. Anyways, all you need to know is that the FB2 is very better, better than the FN2. Yeah. Yeah, that's just our personal opinion, right? And the FN2 looks ugly, the FB2 looks, looks actually pretty good. Uh, the way it the is. thing is, if you know, you know it is a Type R. If not, you probably think it's, it's a just a normal one. normal Civic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're a Civic. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much it. Also, coming back up. And the red patch. Yeah. Because they're all on all the Type R's come with the red patching as always. Yeah. To see, and except for Sudan, because they had like oh, red yeah. patching everywhere. Everyone. everyone. Type R. <laughs> Everyone's a Type R. Everyone has a Type R at this point. <laughs> oh, okay. I think we're done with the engine now. By four arms. Oh look, also we'll uh, add the wheel of this, yeah. we'll add the wood vents on top, allow more cooling, keep the temperatures down low, yada yada yada. And for looks. The usual. And for looks, aesthetics as well. Pretty much the usual. Uh... Okay, Oshan, sure. side profile. Uh, so first off, we'll start pro with the prominent feature of this FD2 or any FD2. What is the prominent feature, man? LSD. So it has a torque sensitive LSD which the FN2 doesn't have, really? which makes it special. Oh. So, and because you had to have LSD on on this front wheel drive car because they have, they have a good amount of power, and you don't want to be going like this. You want to be going like that. You want and to go LSD straight. helps put the power down to mm -hmm. the flow and keeps the car in a straight line. Straight line. Obviously, you need that. Now, Sean. So what about stopping power? Stopping power. Exactly. So because if you move move there, Brembo brakes. All the Type R's come with Brembo, Brembo brakes, and this yeah. is a four part. Uh, Brembo, Brembo brakes yeah. all round. So 320? 320 front. Uh, front ventilated discs mm -hmm. and, and 280 two. in the rear. Now also Sean, one more thing. What about the wheels? So wheels, these are work wheels. As you can see it's chrome, chrome. Uh, which I think 
looks really good with the blue color. Mm. I was just, just going to ask you what you think about the chrome wheels because I actually do like them. <laughs> yeah, same. It's nice. It contrasts really well with the body, exter- exterior body color. And with also, this color, it really does. It does. I don't, I don't know if it doesn't go any of the car. I don't yeah. Know, but this, definitely, yeah. Also, it's wrapped around some Yokohama uh, two, 225 uh, tires. Yes. These are 18 inch uh, work. Yeah. Alloy wheels. So girthy, super girthy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, what is, what is, what is, what is? So side profile, side skirt. So we have the side skirt over here. It obviously, obviously uh, adds a bit more depth and aggressiveness to the car in general. <laughs> yeah. And uh, carbon fiber overlay here. It's not, it's not the. Not the not whole th- mirror. It's just a carbon fiber overlay that goes on top of the uh, always stock mirror. Mirror. Yeah. It's like an mirror, overlay. Exhaust. Yeah. It's yeah. like that. And also ground clearance. Okay. It's not bad. Look at the gap here. Two finger gap, bro. Two finger gap. Literally two finger gap. Yeah. Literally. Literally two finger gap. But okay. Okay. Out of out of on a scale of one to ten, your thoughts on the F D two type R. Like I would say I would uh, say like honest opinion. Car alone I would say ten ten, but if you compare ten ten. Ten ten. I didn't know ten. Yeah. I really Okay. Four doors, you can take your entire family, you can go fast, it has a high revving engine. And what else do you need? High revving engine. You can take an entire family, but and I mean, looks good. It looks really. good, yeah. But I won't give it a ten. I mean, I love, bro. I love this guy. Been in a, in, a, in a different FT2 Typer, and that thing goes. Yeah. But I won't give it a ten out of ten. It's a bit squirmy on the road. Not gonna lie. You know, yeah. Well, I, uh, driving wise, I obviously don't know because I haven't driven an FT2. But yeah, I have saying. been in one. I have properly experienced yeah, FT2 Typer. Like, uh, yeah, but still, uh, it's, it's I love like the car, but it sounds it sounds thing lovely. Is, it's a Honda. You cannot not Dude, love a Honda. And the downshifts. Yeah, you cannot the not love a Honda. Are what actually get me? Like yeah. I get proper goosebumps, man. Like, they sound so good. The downshifts. Like if you're a Honda fanboy, this car is like this car is this car just screams. Yeah, just screams excitement and all everything it's just good. It's pure raw, like. Everything is just... It's naturally aspirated, so it's yeah. even more raw and the car mm-hmm. is just like... Is, is every Honda guy? Do you think in? it's better than the FK8 we did? Actually, the FK8 feels a bit more... Feels, feels a bit more... There's, there's no... Uh, um. uh, yeah, uh, there's the FK8 no, feels a bit raw. more like a normal Civic. Yeah, it's not raw, but, but yeah. the FD2, actually, like, it's like more raw in nature. Like, you know you're sitting in a Type R, but plus, the FK8 doesn't plus, you're, feel... You're more connected with the road. Like, you yeah. feel one with the car and the road. Which Especially is, with the six-speed manual. Oh, yeah. Which we'll get up, which we'll talk about later on in the, in the interior. Yeah. So yeah, uh, if, if, if you ask me, the FT2 is way better than the FK8. I mean, sure, the FK8 has a two-liter turbocharger and more power. Yes, 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 but, yes. But, but that's not fun when when you, when you when the car doesn't feel super. I don't know. Like, yeah. You don't when you, you don't feel one with the car. Hmm. I mean, I mean is, FT2, really good car, and the final naturally aspirated Type R. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So. Moving on, my my ass is literally hurting. <laughs> and from last night, I'm not really, I'm not doing good by right, you know. Y'all, y'all may think that the wing is for downforce and all that nonsense, but no, y'all, I think it's wrong. That's for Kotna. That's for Kotna, it's bloody boys, man. After, after going for a drive with the boys, after running from the cops and all that, from Kotta, we stopped at Plaza. We Kotto, Kotto. Kill the metal damn, man. Kotto, metal damn, man. Damn. Kotto, Kotto, Kotto. I don't know why you switched to single for that, but yeah. Hold on. Actually, no joke, extra downforce and a little bit of black gloss to subscribe. And for aesthetics, let's just say aesthetics. Yes. Okay. Now, yes, we have all the pop the trunk. Now, okay, good, making sure. So, trunk capacity, 485 liters, which uh, is a lot. It's a lot for us. It's a sedan. It's a family car. Exactly. After all. Which, the this is the only type of that came as a sedan. So, the so more you know. Yeah, you have your. Oh shit! You have your Toyota X. <laughs> That's a perfect accessories kit. And I'm on the on the book and all that good stuff. So yeah, yeah the tool kit, we have the uh, owner's manual. Owner's manual yeah. two. And actually this is the amount of space. I mean you have to. Because what these are this is this is plenty. It's a sedan, so it's it is a normal, normal capacity space. Yeah. Which is really great. Okay, now also uh Civic badge, Civic badge, 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 badge. Badge. badging, red badging as usual. Now moving down low, Shan. Aftermarket diffuser. Mm-hmm. That is to detect airflow. Uh-huh. And streamline the airflow to help with the uh, Let's drag. Yeah, and absolutely. The and uh, it has a uh, aftermarket exhaust Cat-back system. Catback exhaust system. Cat-back. Yes. Uh, which sounds lovely. The exhaust tip isn't that massive. No, like, but when you look at it, you you think it's stock, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, it's actually so, not. Yeah. And it's and the downshift, bro. I like I mentioned before, yeah. the downshifts just get to me. Like it's mad nice. Like the downshift, bro. Oh my the, god. The the sound of VTEC engines or sound of most Honda engines, they they sound really good yeah, if you do it well. Sc- scream, yeah. they scream. Stock sometimes they 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 sound like a like like scream like a like a very unpleasant baby scream. Yeah, but but some of like some of them are like really high pitched and like yeah. you just know. Like 
that like when he hits like 8500 rpm which is the peak for this guy yo is you just it just scream thing is uh, honda lovers love their loud engines loud exhaust high revving cars and they yeah, love that. yeah I mean, honda is just something else i feel like honda is like the japanese version of bmw what? like it's like what bmw what? is really what? great right so wait hold on <laughs> so you are comparing a uh, honda high no, like, like like it's okay. like but then bro how can like you compare japan bmw equivalent i know what? it doesn't make sense but you know you know sense. it doesn't make sense what did you but have last night to drink Uh, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> bro, 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 I mean, how can I mean, you... Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, look. Drop a comment down below if you all agree with what Oshan has to say. So, do you all think that Honda is like... No, BMW is the equivalent, like the German equivalent no, of on... Honda. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, do you all agree? Like, I mean, bro, I think that's, that's honestly... It I kind of makes sense, though. How? But he wants to agree, me, but he doesn't. No, give me a reason, like, as to why it would make sense. Like, how does it make sense? Because it's really great. In every way. Yeah, that's but, why. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's, it's It's a pleasure to drive. Yeah, yes, yeah, I think like, it's so. The, so it's a BMW. Yeah, but then like, bro, so it's a Honda. Like, I don't get it though. You get it, <laughs> but I get it. <laughs> no, he gets it. He gets it. <laughs> also, fuel, uh, so fuel consumption, like, so it has a 50 liter tank. 50 liter tank. Yeah, and also it does about 10 uh, per liter, which is yeah, not too bad. I mean, if you stay below retail, below 5,000 RPM, you're good to go. You're good. And it's not too it's bad. It's just retail that takes all the fuel. It's just retail that you know, but like Oshan said, just. Why? Then you don't you don't speak about uh, anyway. You don't speak, you don't speak about fuel consumption in a damn, damn uh, family in a, car. In a in a form. Why would you want to? Who cares about fuel consumption anyway? You don't buy the car because it's because it's not. You know you don't buy the car to. You buy the if car you, if you if you want fuel consumption, you can get a freaking Toyota Prius. No hybrid Civic. No, Toyota Prius. Yeah, much better. No, if you want a Civic, you can get this in a hybrid version. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Also, may I mention? I forgot to mention this fact. Like in the in the side profile. The fitment is utter perfection, bro. It's so flush. I love that. Unlike Oshan's BMW, it's like bro. ah, mine's flush now. <laughs> no, 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 it's good now. The fitment is so in line. Like if you guys can see, and I'm a small slipper, but it's so flush. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Now we're in the interior of the FD2 Civic Type R. Now first off, the uh, first thing you notice is that this car is very minimalistic. It looks like a regular car, regular Civic, which I really like. Now to spot the difference of a Civic Type R or FD2 from a normal FD is that it has red gauges and it has a VTEC meter, which shows your VTEC uh, thing. So, anyways, so that the that the main thing is this dashboard is really long and it's like it's like huge. It's massive. Uh, it has a push start over there, and uh, other than that, it's pretty much standard. Now, speaking about the seats and the door cards, it uh, the door cards contrast with the red badge we were talking about when we went to wash the car. Is that uh, the badge and the door cards here uh, has the same color, has the same red, yeah, and also the seats. Color. Every Honda Civic Type R comes with red seats, the red buckets, the red Alcantara, oh, yeah. uh, door cards, and all that good stuff. I don't think they can see one. Let's hope they can. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Don't so yeah, every. Uh, Civic Type R comes with these red accents, which is I like iconic to them. Now these seats are really comfortable; they hold you in, in place when you're, you know, driving a Type R. Mm -hmm. uh, the rear seats are also in red. It's not bucket seats, obviously. And here you have the Type R plaque, which uh, tells you when you get into the car that you are getting inside a Civic Type R. The glove box has enough space. Really good, really good, and it has. Uh, Door bins over here for your tissue packets or whatever that you need to. If you want to cry in a Type R, you can put your tissue packets. <laughs> uh, steering wheel. Now the steering wheel is uh, just like a uh, Honda Fit. I was telling. It literally is like a Honda Fit, <laughs> except the uh, uh, except the Honda Fit doesn't have the red stitching and the red badge. So, yeah, and everything else, the AC control, everything else is just pretty much standard. And moving on to the six-speed manual gear shifter, it is a short shifter, close ratio. So less shifting times. Uh, the clutch feels solid, right? Bit a bit heavy. If you, I mean, I'm like we are no race car drivers. Like, <laughs> yeah, we are no so. sports car drivers, obviously. So okay, you can get used to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, you have storage compartments over here. Just just regular Civic, just literally regular Civic. So move on. Okay, so guys, now that we're done with the review, we would like to give a massive, massive thanks to Mr. Chanu Ferreira for taking time off his very busy day. To uh, lend us his car to review, yeah, uh, and to give us to give you all a review that we promised when while we were doing Oshan's uh, S2000, who was the previous owner, owner of, this. of this car. So yes, like we promised, we delivered. And we would like to thank him as well yes. for giving us a contact. 
to um, the viewer. Exactly, yeah. Mr. Chang Ferreira. And also, Sean, want to subscribe? Uh, yeah, subscribe, hit that bell icon so Stay you don't tuned. miss any uh, uploads. And also, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Sweet of Ceylon. Yeah. And what else? And also, stay tuned uh, for some beautiful pictures by our photographer, Sheehan. Uh, the photos will be up soon, so you can check them out. Uh, and all that good stuff. So, subscribe and stay tuned for more epic content from our end as always. And uh, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Sweet of Ceylon, signing out as always. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,